Moving right along, it's time to talk about recruiting canvassers, one of my favorite topics. We have had a tremendous amount of success recruiting canvassers, and I want to share that information with you. There are a number of ideals that we have when it comes to recruiting canvassers. The first and biggest principle that we like to subscribe to is hire the underemployed, not the unemployed. What do we mean by that? We are looking for individuals that are already working. We're looking for those go-getters that might be working two jobs, going to school, and working part-time. And those individuals are very rarely looking for jobs. They already have one. In some cases, they already have two. So we're looking for that type of mindset, the hustler, the person that really likes uh, to work. And unfortunately, when you place ads in the paper or on the Internet, on, so on sites like Craigslist, you oftentimes get those people who are unemployed. And they're unemployed many times for a reason. In some cases, they're unemployable. So we don't want to target that type of individual. We want to target someone who is hardworking, has a great work ethic, and chances are is already working somewhere. And we just want to offer them a better opportunity. By offering them a better opportunity, we will lure them over to join the ranks of our canvassing program and that's the first principle we like to operate under when we're talking about recruiting canvassers. This, the solution oftentimes is not in the checkbook. Just writing a check to the local newspaper or to monster.com. It's actually getting out, beating the bushes, and recruiting canvassers. We call it canvassing for canvassers. The next topic we're going to talk about is profiling. We like to consider it just like the police department would profile for a serial killer. We want to identify who the ideal target is. In this case we're discussing young people um, and the, the qualities that they, young students, college students between the ages of 18, 23, and some of the uh, qualities that they tend to exhibit are attractive, energetic, enthusiastic, outgoing. We're looking for talented talkers, money motivated is a must flexible schedule. Again, we want to be able to bring them on when we need leads and send them home when we don't. Trainable and coachable. Even some of the most talented talkers uh, can be a challenge if they're not trainable and coachable. So make sure that that's the case. So that's our ideal profile in, of the individual we're searching for. And we're going to target them at the locations where they tend to reside. So we're going to go to some high schools and get the senior classmen, uh, the senior students. We're going to community colleges, state colleges, campus hangouts. We're going to go to some shopping malls and movie theaters. And we find movie theaters work late at night between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. on the weekends and in the summertime. Uh, we're going to go to, to MySpace and Facebook, some of the social networking sites. And we're going to send some targeted emails to the individuals that we feel fit the profile. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to have some strategically placed signage. We're going to put yard signs at the exit and entrance ramps of these student parking lots or other areas where our ideal profile tend to congregate. We're going to place these, these uh, signs in highly visible areas where the traffic is coming in and out and that way we get the phone calls we're looking to get from the individuals we're looking to get them from. We're, uh, we're going to place these signs on telephone poles and cork boards and things of that nature as well. The biggest response you're going to get is from the vehicle flyer. This is an example of the front side of our vehicle flyer. It tends to be uh, just a handheld piece about twice the size of your average business card. You're going to have the ultimate part-time job at the title, $10 to $15 per hour. And then we're going to have what we're seeking on one side here, and then what we're offering on the other side. What we're seeking is, again, talented talkers with positive attitudes. We're looking for people that are reliable, trustworthy, and we're looking for hardworking, successful-minded people. What are we offering? We're offering solid base pay. We're offering bonuses and incentives. We're offering rapid growth potential, management opportunity, flexible hours, and a fun atmosphere. So we want to tell them both 
what we're seeking as well as what we're offering in return. At the bottom, you're going to have your phone number, where you want them to be calling in. We'll discuss the inbound script for handling these calls, and that's very important. You don't want to make the phone ring if you can't handle the calls properly. So you really need to be set up in that sense as well. Also have a specific website here, not our company's website, not ABC Seamless, but rather ultimateparttimejob.com. And that is a website that is available to you that just is an informational site that talks about the canvassing position. In this day and age when we're dealing with Generation Y, we want to drive them to a site that's informational because that is what they're accustomed to. They want to go straight to the web and get information. And if you send them to your company website, they oftentimes have preconceived notions that this is an installation position or some other position uh, that doesn't appeal to them. So the, the other thing that you want to be concerned about is that your customers are seeing the high wages in which you're paying your marketers. So we want to drive them to a separate website, and that's why we've developed for you the ultimateparttimejob.com, and that'll give information to those individuals applicants and candidates that are seeking out uh, more information about the position in which you're hiring. We're going to take a look at the back side of, of this uh, flyer as well. The rear side just should have a map of your office location so they know where to find you so they can come and apply in person or when the time comes for them to come in for the observation day they know how to find you. Have your uh, address listed as well as a Google map on the back. We're going to place these flyers, the ultimate part-time job flyer, on the driver's side in the weather stripping above the door handle. We are not going to put it on the windshield wiper because it's very easy for them to just turn the windshield wipers on and there goes the flyer. So we want to put it right above the door handle, make it almost impossible for them not to see it and grab it and take a look. If you're having trouble getting it in the black weather stripping around the door handle, you can put it in the rear view mirror or slide it in in the crevice between the door jam. So we want it to be very easy for them uh, to grab that flyer. Don't make it difficult. 